up you guys welcome back to another one if you are new to the channel i am gold pony i do new car truck suv reviews on youtube and today we are in the new 2020 volvo xc90 courtesy of younger volvo in hagerstown maryland so i wanted to check the xc90 out specifically because this actually is the one i would consider for my family if i were to go with volvo and this is volvo's largest suv it is a three row suv and there have been plenty of changes for the 2020 model year so having said all that what do you guys say let's just go ahead and jump right into it and as always let's start with pricing and so let me start actually by saying one of the new changes for the 2020 xc90 is there is a new six seat configuration available although we don't have it today that it would be the captain's chairs in the second row so this one either is going to seat six or seven and so pricing is going to differ obviously between those two the t6 momentum seven seater goes for 56,300 t6 momentum six seater being the captain's chair goes for fifty six thousand eight hundred dollars but regardless of what setup that you go with of course power plant will be the same powering this beast is going to be a two liter turbocharged and supercharged inline four cylinder putting out 316 horsepower at 5700 rpm 295 pound feet of torque available at 5400 rpm power sent to all four wheels through an eight speed automatic zero to 60 time comes in at approximately 6.1 seconds which we will test out in a little bit here but none Nonetheless, MPG numbers come in at 18 in the city, 26 highway, taking premium unleaded fuel, at least that's what's recommended. And there's an auto start stop system as well, meaning when you're stopped at a red light or a stop sign, the engine will shut off automatically for you, saving a little bit of MPGs there as well. And of course you can turn that off if that did start to annoy you. But nonetheless, before we do that acceleration, I did want to mention to you guys, there are some drive modes and that drive mode scrolly looking button is located just behind the engine start switch there. And so what you have with the drive modes is comfort, eco, dynamic, off-road, and individual, adjusting things like the shift points, throttle response, steering sensitivity, and actually braking response to my surprise as well. That is something that isn't usually adjusted with driving modes on just about every single other manufacturer out there. So I found that kind of interesting. Anyways, having mentioned all of that, what do you guys say? Let's adjust the driving modes here and let's put it into dynamic. It did just immediately downshift for me. So it is gonna hold the RPMs at a much higher level, giving you more power power on demand love that what do you guys say let's find a straightaway let's go ahead and hit the gas and let's see how quickly we can get the new 2020 xc90 here up to speed all right and three two one let's go okay everything in the back just moved <laughs> well Yep, for a three row SUV, you're certainly not gonna have any issues with merging onto the highway. This is a turbocharged and supercharged engine. There was also no turbo lag, possibly because of that reason, obviously. So definitely a good bit of acceleration for a three row SUV like the XC90. So you're definitely not gonna have any issues there. So that was nice. But so anyways, to go along with that acceleration, as always, braking is equally important. And so up front, you will find 13.6 inch ventilated front discs. In the back, 12.6 inch ventilated rear as far as that 60 to zero stopping distance goes, it actually comes in at an impressive 113 feet. And so a lot of three row SUVs will come in at around the 125, 130 feet mark. So 113 is really, really good, you guys, quite honestly. And so far the braking feel has been perfectly fine, by the way. So again, 113 feet, 60 to zero is absolutely amazing. So that is most definitely a good thing if you have to come to a quick stop in this one. Then touching on suspension and handling. Up front, you're gonna get an unequal length control arm front suspension in the back multi-link rear suspension front and rear stabilizer bars of course and also one of the other major changes for the 2020 xc90 comes down to the ride quality and so volvo has retuned the suspension for 2020 focusing on more of a softer ride quality and i will say on my short driving stint today absolutely no issues whatsoever with the ride quality so definitely been soaking up maryland's road imperfections quite nicely so far as far as the steering feel goes it's just fine definitely a little bit on the weightier side since i do have it in that dynamic driving mode which i personally like but if you didn't want to wait to your steering field there are those other driving modes there for you so really it gives you something for everybody so it's definitely a plus there as well as far as cabin noise goes it's been perfectly fine i gotta say not as quiet as some of the other bmws and mercedes out there but certainly no issues with cabin noise whatsoever there touching on visibility i can see great out the back and that is one of the big things i want to emphasize with the xc90 because of its shape visibility for a three row s SUV specifically is absolutely amazing. So much better than a lot of the other three row SUVs out there.
there, I gotta say. But so anyways, to go along with that, there are also rain sensing windshield wipers that also come standard. So what that is essentially is whenever the XC90 detects any kind of mist or rainfall, it's gonna automatically turn on those windshield wipers for you, kind of like automatic headlights. Just one less thing you have to worry about so you can better focus more of your attention on the drive itself. So that is of course a huge plus for visibility as well. And I did wanna mention there is a head up display that is optional with the advanced package. That advanced package goes for $2,450 and of course includes a bunch of other stuff as well. But head up display projecting your speed and speed limit onto the windshield. So again, you could better focus your attention on the drive, again, assisting with visibility. But that about rounds out the performance segment of this review, you guys. Let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of this brand new 2020 Volvo XC90. And so here she is, you guys, the new 2020 Volvo XC90. Lightly refreshed exterior styling for 2020. But anyways, let's go ahead and start up front on this one. And actually, first thing I wanted to mention is the colors. Ice white is the only exterior color that is free. On the XC90, every other color option goes for $645. Figure I should start with that one. To the sides, LED headlights with Thor's Hammer daytime running lights. Of course, the headlights do come with the automatic feature, meaning when it starts to get dark out at night, they do turn on automatically for you there. And also so automatic high beams come standard as well. As far as that front grille goes, vertical chrome slats come standard within that. LED fog lights just below with the cornering function actually as well, meaning when you're going around the bend at night, those fog lights will swivel based on your steering angle. Better help illuminating what is around that bend. So that's always nice as well. And again, with that advanced package, you actually get full LED headlights with active bending. Active bending, again, the same thing. Headlights swivel going around the bend at night and full LED headlights, meaning both low and high beam up front. So it's always a big plus too. Then make our way to the side on the XC90. Silver roof rails coming standard. Chrome windows surround standard as well. Also, one thing I love about the XC90 is there's no plastic molding towards the bottom. A lot of other SUVs, especially three-row SUVs, will put that plastic molding around the wheel wells and the side skirts, but the XC90 left it body colored, which I absolutely love. Much more high-end look, in my personal opinion, at least. Illuminated door handles also come standard. Love that. And take a look at the side mirrors. They are body colored, power adjustable side mirrors that will come heated with integrated turd signals as well. They're actually auto dimming side mirrors as well, in case you were curious, but take a look down at the wheel setup. 19 inch six spoke silver alloys is the standard configuration and believe it or not, there are 20, 21 and 22 inch wheel designs all available as options. So plenty of different choices there when it comes to the wheel setup. And make our way to the back of the XC90. Rear spoiler with an integrated brake light comes standard just below that rear window wiper, of course. Then you have the Volvo lettering spelled out horizontally. That always looks good back there. You have that silver finish to the bottom portion of that rear bumper, of course. And just below it all, integrated dual exhaust outlets with chrome tips. So as always, I do believe you guys know what we have to do next. Here is that exhaust clip. something else since we are around back of the XC90 when it comes to opening that rear lift gate there are a few different ways to go ahead and do that there is a button on the key fob that is one way it's also a button by the driver's side left knee as well and a button on the rear lift gate itself but it is also a hands-free power lift gate so that is the third way simply walk up to the XC90 and it is essentially going to open itself but once opened up cargo capacity behind that third row comes in at 15.8 cubic feet if that was not enough space, you can fold that third row down, bumping it up to 41.8 cubic feet behind the second row. And with all rows folded, it comes in at 85.7 cubic feet. So did want to also mention 12 volt power outlet can be found back there. There is also a cargo tray section to the right, of course. There are some grocery hooks back there as well. And just underneath the cargo floor, that is where you're going to find your spare tire, in case anybody was curious about that. And of course, there's some cargo lighting back there too. But make our way up to the third row leg room that comes in to 31.9 inches so for reference i'm an even six feet tall this is how much space i had back there and by the way there is seating for two 
in that third row. Some three row SUVs have seating for three, the XC90 is seating for two. So honestly, the third row is better left for small children, but of course you can move that second row forward and backwards if you wanted to make a little extra space for that third row, if you had third row passengers. So that's an option for you too. But also wanted to mention rear ventilation does extend all the way into the back in that third row. So that's also a plus, but again, better left for small children there. But making our way up to the second row, that comes in at 37 inches even. Again, for reference, I'm an even six feet tall. This is how much space I had back there. And again, with the climate control, I should mention it is four zone climate control actually. So both driver, passenger, and two rear passengers can also set their temperature. So that's always a plus. Heated rear seats are available. That goes for $750. And that actually comes with the heated steering wheel as well. And there is a 12 volt power outlet in that second row. And again, the second row is available with captain's chairs now for the first time ever, or you can get the three row bench seating, which is what we have today. If you were to go with the bench seating, you of course do get a rear center armrest with cup holders in that middle seat as well. So I wanted to mention that, but make your way up to the front seats. Eight way power adjustable front seats come standard. They do come with memory settings for actually up to three different drivers. That's always good. Heated front seats come standard as well. They do come with a leather finish. And the best part about any Volvo really is the little flag of Sweden found on the passenger side front seat. A little unique feature that you always see on Volvos and I still absolutely love that. So Volvo keep doing it. But anyways, make your way now to the steering wheel. It is tilt and telescoping. It is leather wrapped. That is the standard setup. And I love our two-toned leather wrapped steering wheel that we do indeed have here today. You can get a heated steering wheel again that is optional but the best part honestly is that it's a two-tone steering wheel you almost never see that but but so now making our way to the startup because this is where the xc90 differs from just about every other three-row suv out there but let me start by showing you guys the key you do have your volvo logo on the one side all of your buttons are going to be located on the side of the key though lock unlock button to pop the rear hatch and on the other side you got your panic button but nonetheless to start this one all you need to do is simply put your phone on the brake there is a turn knob to start it just behind the shifter. A lot of vehicles will have push button start these days. Very few of them still use the key start, but almost none of them use a turn knob ignition. So you turn it to the right to start the engine, you turn it to the right to stop it. It's a little bit different, so I wanted to mention that, but once started up, one of the best parts, 12.3 inch digital gauge cluster, does come standard and of course that is completely customizable by using the steering wheel mounted controls on both the right and the left side of the steering wheel and also when you change driving modes I should mention the gauges will adjust pretty substantially as well that's one of the cool things about digital gauges of course off-road gives you a different look eco gives you a different look and of course comfort and dynamic will also give you a different look as well but I absolutely love that your drive modes change to digital gauges so that's pretty darn cool if you ask me. But then touching on overall interior quality, panoramic roof does come standard on the XC90. I love that. Usually that's an option for every other manufacturer out there, so that's pretty cool. Charcoal headliner goes for $200, although I will say I like the light headliner that we have here today. Aluminum trim inlays come standard, although I will say wood inlays are optional. One of the unique things though I like about the XC90, there is some netted storage by the passenger's left knee. That's kind of interesting. You never see that on any other vehicles out there. Do you like the frameless rear view mirror? It does have a compass in the upper right hand corner as well. Love that. Home link controls for up to three different garage doors found at the bottom of that rear view mirror as well. That's always nice. So you don't have the rattling garage door opener. Just in front of the shifter, there is a very small amount of storage, but just behind that, you have a 12 volt power outlet little more storage there with a couple cup holders and of course within the center armrest you'll have dual usb charging ports and a good bit more storage in there too but my favorite part about basically any volvo at this point is the simplistic design you really only have what seven or eight buttons located just below the infotainment screen other than that everything can be had through that infotainment screen and everything else is pretty minimalist so that's something that volvo is doing lately and has been doing for a little bit now but absolutely love the minimalist design in the xc90 but yet again one of the coolest features on the interior as far as simplistic design goes one of those seven or eight buttons are used to actually open the passenger side glove box and so typically you'll see a button on the glove box itself to go ahead and open that but the button is actually located just in front of the shifter and when you press that that is how you're going to open the glove box i think that's super cool it's kind of 007 ish but absolutely love it since i touched on it let's go ahead and make our way to the infotainment screen here it is a nine inch color tablet style touchscreen display bluetooth and audio streaming come standard android auto apple carplay as well 
factory navigation system, also standard. Can of course adjust your climate control up there along with the heated seat buttons. Really everything that can be adjusted will be adjusted through that infotainment screen essentially, including the radio settings. So let's touch on that. As far as the sound system goes, you get 10 speakers, 224 watts is the one and only standard setup that we have here today. So what do you guys say? Let's go ahead and turn on the radio, see what we got playing today. And let's test out the clarity of this one. <laughs> Britney Spears, oh my gosh. Can't believe I just played that. Bass is actually more than I expected. Clarity is pretty good. Wouldn't have minded at least an optional sound system for the T6 Momentum, but honestly, that will definitely do the trick. Again, plenty of bass. Clarity is really good. There is a good number of speakers in the XC90, but there are better sound systems out there, so we'll just leave it at that. But in the T6 Momentum, that is plenty fine for me. But last thing I wanted to mention to you guys, though, is when you do put the XC90 in reverse, you, of course, will find a rear view camera. And with the advanced package, you get a 360 degree monitor as well. But as always, that is going to lead us into safety. And so to start, front side, side curtain airbags do come standard. In the back, you're gonna have latch, AKA lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats. Tire pressure monitoring system comes standard. Also standard though, a good bit of advanced safety features, which I love, including blind spot monitoring system with rear cross traffic alert, autonomous emergency braking, adaptive cruise control, rear collision warning, and speed limit recognition technology as well. So as far as my final thoughts go on the XC90 exterior, Interior styling is 100% on point. It looks absolutely amazing. I like the simplistic interior design as well, although would have loved to see some ambient lighting in the XC90. Mercedes does that, BMW does that. A lot of other manufacturers do offer ambient lighting with various color options, so I wouldn't have minded seeing that. Also would have liked to have seen some rear window sunshades, but I will say, having said that, those rear window sunshades are standard on the T8, but not the T6 Momentum that I'm in today, but still wouldn't have minded seeing that though, since you can kind of get it on the Hyundai Palisade and Kia Telluride at this point for the same price point or less. So that would have been pretty nice. And although there are a lot of standard safety features on the XC90, it's not an IIHS top safety pick either, so wouldn't have mentioned that. And Consumer Reports gives it a well below average reliability rating. So although that seems like a lot of constructive criticism, I guess you could say for the XC90, the reason I got in this one to begin with to review it was the design, both on the exterior and the interior. I absolutely love it. The design is 100% on point, so I had to check it out. Other SUVs in this class you can consider is the Acura MDX, Mercedes-Benz GLE class, and the Lexus RX350 in case you were curious. But that about rounds out this review, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen there. If you like, be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews. That is what we do here on this channel after all. Do appreciate you guys watching more than you know, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay gold.